Hey everybody and welcome back to the Resident Evil 4 VR Edition 100% walkthrough. Played on the Oculus Quest 2, which is the only platform it is available on at the time of the recording. On the normal difficulty, which is the highest difficulty you can play on, on your first time through. I am VR Boomer. Let's go rescue Ashley. We already collected this in the last episode. Now we're going to go into the church. All right. First thing we're going to do is run over here and raid the tithe box. Nothing like taking a little donation for our own. There's a barrel back here on this side. We got a grenade that time. And we're going to pop over to this side. And we're going to take the stairs, the ladder upstairs here. Obviously, we can't proceed that way. There's some barrels there. But we can't get to those barrels because it's blocked off. So how are we going to get over there? Well, we're going to play Errol Flynn and swing on the lantern. Now, turning around over here, you can see that section is still gated off. Here's the two barrels we saw from the other side. We get a flash grenade, and now we have this control operate to unlock the gates. So we'll hit A, and it shows us what we need to do. We need to rotate the colored wheels so they match up to the center wheel, and we get that image. So we're going to rotate the red one twice. We're going to rotate the green one three times, and then the blue one once. That should get us what we need. There it is. Easy peasy, right? Okay. Now we're going to turn around. And there's nothing else for us to gather down this hallway. We'll come over here, take a peek, so you can see that's all clear. And now we're going to enter the space we couldn't get into earlier. And here we find Ashley. Ashley. Don't come! Hey, take it easy. No! Get away! Calm down. Everything's going to be just fine. My name's Leon. I'm under the president's order to rescue you. What? My father? That's right. And I have to get you out of here. Now come with me. Right, got another message from Huntington coming in here. It's Leon. I've succeeded in extricating my subject. Good work, Leon. I'll send a chopper over right away. I think Where's he's technically point? extricated her There's yet. There's another trail that you can take to get out I mean, of there. I mean, extricating her means she'd be out of there. And she's not out of there way. yet. So, extricating is a bit of a fib. Now, it'll show you this in the demo, but you can make Ashley wait for you or follow you by holding down the trigger on this side. Wait. And you'll tell her to wait, and then you hold it down again. Follow me. And you move your joystick. So trigger, wait. move the joystick, and she'll wait. Trigger, follow move me. the joystick, and she'll follow you. And there will be times where it is necessary to have her wait off to the side or something. So she doesn't get hurt. Got some barrels to empty out here. And then we're going to head back this way. Let's see if there's anything we can mix that herb with right now. Ah, we've got a triple mix on the herbs, so let's do that. Let's tidy up this case a little bit. I really hate a messy attache case. You know that? Just bugs me so much. Let's see that right there. Put that right there. That is a mighty full attache case too, isn't it? Use another yellow herb there. We're going to need as much space as we can get pretty soon. Let me put that egg over there. That's about as tidy as I think we can make it. All right. And now, for one of the most annoying parts of this game. Yes, Ashley cannot climb stairs. You have to jump her down. That is so dumb. All right. Time for another cutscene. I'll take the girl. Who are you? If Who are you? You must know. My name is Osman Sadler, the master of this fine 
religion. What do you want? <laughs> to demonstrate to the whole world our astounding power, of course. No longer will the United States think they can police the world forever. So, we kidnap the president's daughter in order to give her our power, and then send her back. No. Again, with the shots in the neck. Leon, I think they shot something in my neck. What did you do to her? What did you do we to her? We just planted her a little gift. Oh, there's going to be one hell of a party when she returns home to her loving father. <laughs> but before that, I thought I might bargain with the president for some donation. Believe it or not, it takes quite a lot of money to keep this church up and running. Faith and money will lead you nowhere, Sadler. Oh, I believe I forgot to tell you that we gave you the same gift when I was unconscious. Oh, I truly hope you like our small but special contributions. When the eggs hatch, you will become my puppets. Involuntarily, you'll do as I say. <laughs> I'll have total control over your minds. Don't you think this is a revolutionary way to promulgate one's faith? Sounds more like an alien invasion if you ask me. Love this phenomenal dialogue. Why are they shooting at them if they want them to live? I don't understand it. Uh, it makes no sense. Anyway, here we are. We jumped out. You okay? Uh, Leon. She can jump What's out windows, but she can't us? climb down a ladder. We got into this mess. We can get out of it. Uh. All right, we come to a save point here. End of chapter 2-1. We're not going to bother saving just yet. We've got some more ground to cover first. All right, now down here we have some barrels. The red herb, although I don't think we have anything to mix that with just yet. No, we don't. All right, now we're going to go up here, and we're going to unlock the door. The air quotes. Oh, and there's a whole bunch of bad guys just outside of the church. Well, wait. This is easier than you might expect. We'll have Ashley wait back there. And that takes out all of them but one. Or in this case, too. No, you're dead. And so are you. Right. Let's collect up our treasures now. Now, if you want, at this point, you can just proceed on. But, this is a 100% walkthrough, which means we need 100% of the kills. So we're going back into the church. To deal with these crossbow guys. We're going to run right to the side here. Wait. We'll have Ashley wait there where it's safe. Give them some kicks. Give them some knifing. And they're done. Follow Puff. Ashley, follow us. And we will head on down. That section, of course, is completely optional. You don't need to go back in there. Unless you want to get all the kills. Now, yes, we are backtracking a little bit um, over the area where we just were before in the last video. Now, again, you, it's funny how Ashley can climb down ladders when it's a cutscene, isn't it, girl? Ugh, it's so annoying. Cutscene? Sure, she can manage a ladder there. Anyway, we're going to head back through the Pueblo and back through the farm now. 
And as you remember from the last video, we cleared out the areas before. You don't have to do that. This does require a little bit more backtracking this way. It takes an extra minute or two. But I just find it easier to go through those areas and clear them out first. Because we all know how awesome uh, escort missions are. It's just easier to fight through all those bad guys without having Ashley in tow. Alright. Through the Pueblo. Out to the farm. Alright, now we're just going to proceed through the farm. And again, we've already cleared this area out. So we have no Ganados to worry about here. Just, you know... Ashley, very slowly following us around. Come over here, we're gonna hop down, and again, we have to wait for Ashley to catch up to us. This is a great game. It is not a perfect game. Love that part. All right, now Ashley is gonna help us get through this door. We're gonna hoist her up. She's gonna go over the top. And unlock it for us on the other side. I opened it, Leon. All right. Now, welcome. We're gonna take a moment here. Got to a sell. selection of good. What are you selling? Whatever it is we have to sell, which is the ring. Ah. I'll buy it at a high price. And the spine <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this is one of the jewels that goes into the mask, so we're not going to sell that yet, because we need three for that. What are you You know selling? what? I am going to sell one other thing here. I am going to sell is this that old stri <laughs> We don't you. need it, and I want to make sure I have that space available. For a very good reason. What I'm going to go to tune-up. If you haven't got the TMP yet, is that all stranger? <laughs> you're going to want to buy you. it now and tune it up. And you're going to want to tune up your pistol too. Give yourself a little more ammo. <laughs> Thank you. Because Come we are now coming up on, on the hardest fight we've had yet. And that's the cabin fight. Now, in a few moments, we're going to be trapped inside that cabin uh, surrounded by zombies. And. There's no tactical way you can just step off to one side like we've done in some of the other fights beforehand or running around like we did in the village, tactical shooting like we did in the farm. This is just an area where you're confined. Um, I'll show you some of the strategies that I use, but um, you're basically just going to have to shoot your way through this. Your primary weapons in this fight are going to be your shotgun and your hand grenades, um, but you want backup water wrap weapons ready. If I could learn how to speak clearly. Leon, I have some bad news. I'd rather not hear it. Well, I'm afraid I have to tell you anyway. We've lost contact with the chopper. Someone must have shot it down. Get so to the chopper! Great. We're prepping another chopper for you. Meanwhile, I want you to head Get to the other chopper. Point. Got it. All right. Now, we're going to have another cutscene here. And again, this is like the uh, village, like the Pueblo. You're going to have to kill a certain number of zombies. I think it's 30 or 40 um, before the scene ends. There is technically a time limit, but you really can't run the time out on this one. Leon! Small world, eh? Who are you? Oh, oh excuse me, your highness. Perhaps the young lady might want to introduce herself first before asking someone his name. Her name's Ashley Graham, the president's daughter. Is she... Well, you know... Don't worry. She's cool. Eh, never mind. There's supposed to be some kind of obvious symptom before you turn into one of them anyway. <gasps> Look! Ashley, All right. upstairs! Ashley just hides, so we don't have to worry about her. Okay. Luis has got the red nine. All right, so the first thing I like to do is run over here and block this window off and block this window off. 
But I don't bother blocking the other one yet. We're gonna grab that. We're gonna grab this herb here. This will give us, we have a few minutes to sort of run around and collect up ammo and grenades. I don't think, oh, there's a shotgun shells there. We got time here, so grab that grenade. Grab that herb. We will mix that herb with the red herb. Now, one thing I noticed in some of my practice runs, I was dying rather quickly. And I realized... Oh, see, my inventory's full. Yeah, we'll come back for that later. I realized um, that when I had to be healing, I've just used like an egg or something, and I haven't increased my max heal at any point. Um, so it's actually lower than it should be. So it actually behooves you to take a little bit of damage as you're going and use some of these max heals to increase your max heal. But for now, let's make sure our shotgun's loaded. Let's make sure our pistol's loaded. They're going to break that door down first. Um, Leon's kills count towards yours. So you can just let him shoot away for a while. We've got time. Now, when they finally do come in, in a few minutes, uh, Lewis is going to run upstairs. And when he does, we're going to move to the top of the stairs, and the enemies will be coming in there. We're going to sort of use this as a hold point. And then we're going to toss a grenade down. You want to make sure that you have your regular frag grenade equipped at the moment. Let Lewis do most of the shooting here. His kills count. And there's no point in you wasting your ammo. Yes, there are spaghetti heads here too. Yes, they can hit you from across the room. Now we want to play a little defense here. These guys will break through these shortly. When they do, we're going to move up. Here they go. Get a grenade ready. Use this. Listen. Oh, now they're coming upstairs. Now we can probably grab this grenade. Ooh, our inventory is full here. We're going to heal. We're going to use our max heal here to increase our max health. Come on. All right. The shotgun's empty. We are going to go to the TMP really quick here. If you get a couple of spaghetti heads, what you can do is swap grenades. Alright, this will give us a second to reload the shotgun. Just got to adjust myself in my space here. A nice hold point. Whoops, someone okay? threw a. Where did that come from? Alright, someone is throwing axes at us. I'm not sure where from, so. 
I think it's that guy over there. Grab up some ammo here really quick. We've got the opportunity. We're gonna get back into this corner. Let us reload our shotgun. You see Lewis will duck. When you're pointing at him, so you want to avoid that wherever you can. Oh, we got another axe guy. And that's it. All right, we did a good job there. Took a couple of hits along the way, but it allowed us to increase like our max health. Off. So, what do we do now? The bridge I crossed to get here is out. So I guess we have no choice but to keep moving. I forgot something. You guys go on ahead. Lewis. All right, and that is the end of that chapter. Actually came through that one pretty well. You're not going to save just yet. So the first thing you want to do is run around and gather up all of the treasures, ammo, and everything left behind by everyone you beat out there. So there's going to be some outside as well. Do a quick pass around the building. Grab up everything we can. I think it's going to be all of it. A box of ammo over there. A box of ammo over there. All right. And I believe we grabbed everything from upstairs. So now we are going to take a second. Make sure all of our weapons are... Oh, we have no more shotgun ammo. Wow, that's a little annoying. Uh, let's make sure our pistol's reloaded. Um, in here, we've got another one of those public notices and another save point. And... Welcome. Welcome. Now. What do you buy? What else do we have to buy? We've got handgun, red nine. We are going to be buying a rocket launcher. Let's see what are you selling? if we have any to sell. We might actually have to sell some of our inventory to fit the rocket launcher, although we, we plowed through quite a bit of it. Well, not nearly as much as I was expecting. That, that went uh, really well. Now, remember, we need roughly the same amount of space that the uh, shotgun takes up. So we've got a box of ammo and an incendiary and an herb that we really can't hang on to. Let's see if we move that there. Yes, I am playing like tetris -y type things. Yeah. See, that's not going to fit no matter what. So, probably going to get that rid of stranger? that. Maybe get rid of an herb. This is tricky. I don't want to get rid of too much. Because the grenades are useful. But... I think that will do. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's go back. Let's what go to the buy buying? section. Yes. Stranger, stranger. Now that's a weapon. Darn tootin' it's a weapon. <laughs> All right, Come now, back, why did we get that? Well, it's not going to be too hard to guess. Because we have a uh, thick boy coming up, an El Gigante. Master Trousers. Now, you can flip that lever in either direction. There are two paths that you can take. It's optional to do both of them. You only need to do one or the other. I am going to do both of them. Of course. Down this side is the easier one. This is where the El Gigante is. And it's easier because we have this. And 
and you're just gonna walk forward until you get the cutscene with the El Gigante. He's gonna be way on the other side of the space. Ashley's actually gonna point something out to you. That right there. That's it. Then he falls. I don't know what to tell you. That's the easy way to do it. We're gonna gather up that there. Now what you can do, let's get Ashley over here. Is shoot that. And drop the rock, drop the rock on top of El Gigante. Um, we are also going to re-equip that. And if you want, another way you can do it is just run through. Just shoot these chains and then just run through really quickly. And that also works. And here we have a whole bunch of goodies to gather up. This is the key we need to proceed on to the next area we need to get to. But again, as I said, you need to, it's an either or situation. And on that bucket, there's another little treasure. There we go. Yes. This is another gem to go in the mask. Let's go over to the mask. Let's attach the gems. We are coming up on the third gem for the beer stein very soon. I don't want to miss this box here. Leave. Let me just make a double check here, but I believe that's everything we can get here. That bucket has nothing. Drop the rock. I think there's another rock you can drop. Yeah. There's another boulder to drop here. That's another way to attack the Gigante. You can drop rocks on him. But, seriously, just using the... Um, Using the rocket launcher is just a super easy way to do it. Super easy way to do it. All right. And this gets us to the next section. But before we go on in this section, we're gonna go back and take care of the campground. Again, this is completely optional. This is the easiest way to progress, going through the Gigante section. Because, like I showed you, it's just a rocket launcher and you're done. The next section is considerably more tricky, but it's not impossible or super difficult. It's easier than the cabin fight, I think, personally. Alright. We're going up to the abandoned cabin here. Now we're going to grab the lever. Move it in the other direction. Get the cutscene again. Actually, I generally like going through the campground section here because I think it's more fun. Um, let's see. This is primarily a pistol section. Um, it's probably good to have your TMP ready to go too. Not a whole lot of shotgunning here. The first thing you need to do after the cutscene. And there are two chainsaw people here. Whoa. Gonna run over here, and have Ashley hide in the barrel. Now over there, that wagon has got explosive drums on it. But, you do not want to shoot that yet. You wanna be very sure you don't shoot that yet. Because that's going to be very important later on. So, especially with the Punisher. You want to be very careful. Be very mindful of what, you shoot, what the background is behind your shots. Hi, guy. We'll come back to you later.
We're gonna climb up here. We're gonna get old Fred's attention here. Oh, we wanna move. We're gonna move again. Hey, Barney. Easy. Ah, uh, spaghetti heads. I hate the spaghetti heads so much. Really hate the spaghetti heads more than anything else in this game, pretty much. Mostly, almost. Oh, we've got their attention. Drop down. See if this guy's gonna swing or blow. He's gonna swing. I believe that is everyone for the first part of this. All right, now you want to bring Ashley back to you. And we're going to have her hide in this dumpster up here. Hide. Just to keep her safe and out of the way. Now we're gonna hop down here and gather up some some items. Actually, we are gonna be using the shotgun in a moment. Climb back up here. Now, we're gonna jump down into the center section. You wanna orient yourself so the area where we just raided those items is behind you. And the area where we came in is across the way. We're going to hop down. There's going to be a cutscene. The two chainsaw people are going to appear. We're going to go up that ladder immediately to the right and hop down. All right. You can climb right up. Some guys right here. You want to just move really quickly yourself turned around again do not shoot that yet wait for the chainsaw ladies to hop down you can give that one a shot to hold her back that will not finish them off oops I meant to get my shotgun there. I slipped up. Again, the chainsaw is a single shot kill. She's down. She's almost down. Pretty sure there's no other Ganados around right now. I mean, if you want, when she goes down, you can knife her. That's absolutely an option. Ooh, we got a ruby off of that one. Money there. And another camp key. Again, the keys are what you need to proceed on to the next levels. We are not quite done with the fight yet, but that's the hardest part. The next section is definitely the TMP is going to be useful. So we'll make sure that's loaded up. Climb up here. 
call Ashley out of the dumpster because, you know, we're classy and that's all you're... Oh, I missed a guy. Hey, doofus. See? The music was the cue, right? Now again, we have to wait for Ashley and have her hop down. Yes, it's brilliant game design. Got some barrels to relieve of their contents there. And I'm pretty sure that's it down in this section. Yep, just double checking. Now we're going to use the camp key to proceed. Now, we're going to be going down that way. But first, we're going to grab some items in this area here. down here in this little room here there's a grenade and a barrel and that is it for this section so we're going to climb back up no I didn't want to catch uh, to climb up not catch Ashley now before we go back out the door smashy smashy and there's a couple more barrels way back in here And we got the other gem. So let's go over to the mask. There we go. The gems are there. And you can take a peek out there. You can see what we're going to be facing. Ashley followed us into here. But we're just going to have her wait here. Wait. Now, the section up ahead, this is... TMP and grenade country. So let me make sure I have the proper grenade equipped here. I actually like the incendiaries here. Grab a grenade. There's just a whole pestle of enemies coming your way. Including a bunch of spaghetti heads. And I just find the easiest way to deal with this all is just mow them down. Shotgun also works here. That's that. Yeah, we're low on TMP ammo now, but and yeah, I was I was uh, not stingy with the ammo there. Follow me. We will have Ashley follow us. All right, and there's no more barrels. There are barrels off to the sides here, or items hidden. That is one area where, like I said, I'm really free with the ammo. Grab this, lift it up. And you will see that we have arrived again at the section where we were just before. Except the other time we arrived down there. We've got a merchant up there. And we are eventually going to be going that way, not in this walkthrough. We're going to wrap up this walkthrough here after we go around and collect up any items. Pass behind there. Box of ammo there. There is also a save point in here, which I will be saving at in a moment. We've got a locker. We've got another public notice. Box of rifle ammo. Let's go sell some stuff to the merchant, shall we? Just for the record, you can kill the merchant. You don't want to kill the Welcome. merchant. Things are much more difficult if the merchant is dead. selection of good things on All right, selling. let's sell first. Now we've got all three pieces for the mask, so we can sell the mask. Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. The last gem for the beer stein is coming up very soon. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. 
go back and now what just to buying? make sure that we don't have the semi-automatic rifle yet, which we do not. All right. Come back anytime. And that is where we're going to wrap up this one. When I reach you all next time, we'll be going up the gondolas. Uh, if you like this comment, if you like my content, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Let's overwrite this one. G O. Walk through six. If you enjoy my content, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, if there's anything that you think that I missed, let me know, and I'll make a supplementary video covering it where I've missed something. Um, and as always, uh, have fun and be kind to one another.